All right, it's time for the level four spider drill. You've come a long way, keep it up. Now this one, we're gonna expand the dexterity in our fingers by stretching across four strings. So each finger is gonna play across a different string. We're gonna place first finger on sixth string. So that would start at the first fret. Fret on sixth string, next finger, second fret on the fifth string, next finger, third fret on the fourth string, and next finger, fourth fret on the third string. All right, so remember to keep that thumb on the back of the neck and try and place it towards the middle of your fingers where you place the thumb on the back of the neck. That'll help give pressure to all your fingers evenly. So we're gonna start by playing from the low strings first. Once we complete that, we're gonna go to the high strings and do a mirror image of the pattern. So now we're going from first string, first fret, second string, second fret, third string, third fret, fourth string, fourth fret. So it's just the opposite. But again, the main thing is as you're moving up fingers, as you're moving up frets, we're also changing strings. Each finger gets a different string. So the whole exercise is gonna use both directions, starting from low string, and then starting from high string. Sixth string up. First string down. And with our picking hand, we're gonna be plucking down towards the ground with each motion. Down towards the ground. So here we go, both directions. Let's start out at a slow tempo, nice easy pace, about this fast. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. And then to the high strings. And you'll notice as we're going from first finger to fourth finger, our wrist of our fretting hand is going to shift and rotate along with it so that we can keep that curved finger and that good pressure. Another time at our slow pace, low strings, each finger gets a new string, and then starting from the high string, each finger gets a new string as you play. Here we go. Starting from the sixth string. One, two, ready, go. High strings. Very good. And remember, it's not about how fast or slow you can play. It's about playing each note as cleanly and accurately as possible as smoothly and steady as possible. And by focusing on those things, then you'll be able to naturally build up your speed. Okay, let's take this spider drill and do it at a medium tempo now. So we're gonna go this fast. One, two, ready, go. Let's try that medium tempo one more time. One, two, ready, go. Awesome. I am so proud of how you're pushing yourself to keep growing with your skills. One thing that helps is with your picking hand, you want this pick to stay as close to the strings as possible. 
Because if we're making big movements and coming out away from the strings, that's so much more distance you have to travel. It takes more time, more effort, more energy. And we want to save our energy to put it into the actual performance of the notes. So you want to keep that pick as close to the strings as you can. Especially it helps as you move up in tempo and start playing faster. So let's try this one more time and we're going to do it at the fast tempo. Here we go. Fast tempo. Doesn't matter if you're playing exactly this tempo, you're just challenging yourself to go a little bit faster than what you played last time. All right, here we go. And one, two, ready, go. Yes, very good. Let's do it again. Here we go. One, two, ready, Go. All right, this one is really great to add in to your other spider drills to keep building those fingers and then it's going to make your chords even easier to play. Which is good because in the next video we're going to expand to start playing more full chords and you're really going to see your sound expand into resonating all throughout the room here. Okay. All right, so let's do that again and at a fast tempo this time. And it doesn't matter if you play exactly the speed that I play, you're just challenging yourself to play a little bit faster than what you played last time. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Yes. All right, let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. Awesome. Now you're really feeling the, that workout in the fingers and that's good. That's the sign that you're building that new dexterity. The more you build them, the easier it is to be able to play your notes and play your chords and play your melodies, play your solos. Because you have such great dexterity and strength and control in those fingers. So this is why I want to keep it up. Add these in to your other spider drills and all your other patterns and you're going to really see how everything gets easier and easier which is going to be a great help as we go into the next video we're going to start adding in more full chords and really hear how your sound starts to expand along with your skills all right i'll see you in the next video